Hello everyone, and thank you for coming to this conference. Today, I will be speaking on behalf of all of my colleagues about an issue that is very important to us. Before we start, I'd just like to say that it's fantastic that farmers, agricultural companies, environmentalists, fuel manufacturers, and government officials are able to be present at this conference. To make this presentation more vivid, we have prepared a series of videos. Now let's go ahead and get started. Every day, fuel is being used excessively, especially for transportation and infrastructures. The most commonly used fuel is fossil fuel. As we all know, the way it is extracted and made is terrible for the environment. Furthermore, when they are being used, they emit massive quantities of CO2 into the atmosphere. This is one of the main reasons for pollution and climate change. Finally, fossil fuels are non-renewable and will run out in the future. This jeopardizes our fuel security because once they are gone, there is no possibility to return them. The fact that we depend so much on fossil fuels is terrible. Fuel is very important in our society because it is used every day and not to mention that it is the cause of many, many conflicts. Luckily, there are possibilities of fixing this problem. Thanks to science, we have biofuels. Biofuels are environmentally friendly fuels which come from biomass, which is anything living or organic. There are two types of biofuels. Biodiesel is made from plants such as sunflower and grape seed, and bioethanol can be made from a lot more materials such as sugarcane, wheat, or corn. All of these materials have different positive and negative impacts on the Canadian environment and economy. There is one biofuel that particularly stands out, ethanol, specifically ethanol that comes from switchgrass, scientifically known as Panicum virgatum. Ethanol is a clear alcohol-based liquid. The conversion from switchgrass to ethanol is very interesting. The process used is called enzymatic hydrolysis, which is basically adding water and special enzymes to the cellulose, which is the sugars made from the switchgrass. The sugars are fermented and then made into ethanol, which can be used in transportation and infrastructures. Some may argue that biofuels pose many problems, however, I am here to convince you otherwise. Here are all the positive impacts of biofuels. Farmers love switchgrass for many reasons. Although it is already native in many parts of North America, the planting and harvesting process is pretty simple. Switchgrass is a warm season grass, also known as a perennial, which means that it is ideal to plant during warmer seasons and it will grow the most at those times. This may seem a little problematic because in Canada it's cold most of the year, however it isn't because during the winter the grass will become dormant and then resume its growth as soon as it gets warmer. Although it takes about three years before it starts growing intensely, it all ends up being worth it because it produces more energy than is needed to take care of it. Another upside to using switchgrass from a farming perspective is that it is very sustainable. You plant it once and it will grow for 20 years and produce biomass the whole time. Another huge advantage of switchgrass is that it requires practically no fertilizers because it is almost impossible for it to come in contact with pests or diseases. And for the people living in the more vulnerable areas of Canada, switchgrass is also an ideal crop because it is tolerable to floods and droughts. It can be planted in almost any kind of soil because its long roots have the ability to retain nutrients. This is very important in addressing the concern that people have that biofuels are affecting food prices and wasting space. There's a sort of myth going on that using biofuels will somehow affect food prices. However, with switchgrass that is not a concern at all because switchgrass can grow on a very poor soil. This soil is called marginal farmland, which for us farmers to use is amazing. It's pretty much farmland that we would not use anyways because the soil is in such bad condition and can, like it, it's just space that isn't used. So using it for growing switchgrass is perfect. This really helps farmers financially, of course. Finally, when harvested, traditional hay balers can be used. This equipment is readily available almost anywhere. So, as a farmer, switchgrass is an ideal crop for me. As members of the government, I assume that your primary concern would be the economy and how biofuels would affect citizens.
The Canadian government has taken many initiatives to support biofuels, such as the ethanol expansion program. As we all know, the majority of Canada's biofuels come from wheat. The Canadian government invests $2 billion annually and there are eight working ethanol fueling stations all across Canada. All these actions make Canada very significant in the ethanol industry. This is excellent because from an economic standpoint, ethanol is an excellent solution. As we keep emphasizing biofuels are renewable, this means that the industry will last for a very, very long time. Other countries can potentially invest in this type of ethanol because it is so convenient in Canada. It is also very abundant in Canada. To produce ethanol, although machinery is needed, skilled operators are also required. Although this may be problematic at first, this could potentially transform the rural economy and the labor force. Since this industry is fairly new, many jobs will be available. Implementing ethanol will surely create many jobs. It will also appeal to many people because the 10 cents federal excise tax does not apply to biofuels. As it is visible by looking at the first column of this graph, the cost of using ethanol is significantly less and it is more eco-friendly. The profit from all of this will be split between the farmers and agricultural companies, fuel distributors, and ethanol manufacturers. All the initiatives taken off so far had a positive effect on biofuels. The federal government is pro-biofuels and so are most provincial governments. Now, fuel manufacturers, you are perhaps the most conflicted. Fossil fuels are significantly less expensive. However, switching to biofuels in the long run is a lot more beneficial to fuel manufacturers. Firstly, this could attract attention to their companies, which could be a huge benefit. Secondly, it could attract people with advanced degrees. All of their salaries are higher than fossil fuel manufacturers. In the future, when biofuels become a big and powerful industry, this will not be problematic. The reason why we know that biofuels are going to be such a powerful industry in the future is due to the fact that biofuels are renewable um, as opposed to fossil fuels, which is a finite source. Switchgrass is a very efficient form of energy. It produces 500 times more energy than is needed to take care of it and harvest it. Also, the whole switchgrass blade is used when making ethanol. That results in a lot of production because switchgrass can be from 6 to 10 feet tall. Finally, environmentalists. Arguably, the environment is our primary concern in this whole project. The process of harvesting, converting, and implementing biofuels encompasses the environment. First of all, when switchgrass is just growing as a grass, it is very good for the environment. When cultivating normal crops, after time the soil's fertility will decrease. However, with switchgrass, it is the exact opposite. It adds organic matter to the soil because its roots extend very deep into the ground and the leaves and stem extend high above the ground. Aside from quickening the plant's growth, planting switchgrass near water can remove soil particles and chemical residues from the surface of the water before it reaches streams. In the long run, this affects biodiversity because the gradual cleaning of water can prevent species from getting extinct from too much pollution. Another impact switchgrass has on biodiversity is that many different species can live in it, such as fungal endophyte. In environmental sciences and the causes of global warming, a big concerning factor is the emission of CO2. In terms of this, switchgrass is a very interesting plant because it does not emit CO2, but rather takes it in and uses it for itself. As we all know, this information is very important to environmentalists because Measuring the emission of CO2 actually determines if the biofuel is viable and if it actually does help the environment. If potentially switchgrass was to emit more greenhouse gases than any other biofuel or regular fossil fuels, it would be out of the question to use it. After attending this conference and hearing mine and my colleagues' opinions, Hopefully you have made a decision whether you want to support the usage of biofuels and if you think they are a reliable source for Canada to use.